Hello everyone, my name is Xavier Taizo, I'm the marketing manager at Video Notebook. In this tutorial, I will show you how you can export your Video Notebook notes to your favorite note-taking apps. We will cover four most used note-taking apps according to a recent study by Tiago Forte, and those apps are Notion, Evernote, Obsidian, and OneNote. In order to export your Video Notebook notes, you first need to visit the Video Notebook web app, which allows you to organize and review all your notes taken using our Chrome extension and the desktop app, which enables you to take notes on Zoom meetings. To visit the Video Notebook web app, please visit the URL visible on the screen. Let's start with the most used note-taking app, Notion. We have recently released an export option for Notion users specifically, as it was a much requested feature. To export your video notebook notes to Notion, you need to click on the export button and then choose markdown file cloud images option. I will shortly explain how this feature works. You will export your video notebook notes to a file in a markdown format but you will reference the images, that is, screenshots and slides captured using Video Notebook that will be stored in the cloud. This cloud is maintained by Video Notebook using Amazon Web Services. It means that the only file that will be downloaded will be the markdown file. You won't need to upload any images on your own to Notion. All right, so let's hit on the export notes button and the export will be completed in just a couple of seconds. All right, it's already there. So let's now move this file to our desktop and let's unzip the file. It's done. So now we can move on to Notion. When in Notion, we need to click on the add a page button. Then we need to click on import and choose text and markdown option. I have already found the markdown file that I want to upload, so I select it and click open. The file is now being uploaded to Notion and it's already there. As you can see, the title of the page was automatically detected by Notion so you don't need to add the title on your own. The page starts with the video thumbnail and the video title while below there is a list of all your notes that you captured using Video Notebook. You can click on the play button next to any note and play the video from the right point in the Video Notebook web app. Let's go to the second app on our list and this is Evernote. Evernote is well known for its great support of PDF files, which is especially true if you're a premium Evernote subscriber. In that case, all your PDFs stored in Evernote are annotatable and searchable. This is the reason why we recommend PDF export to Video Notebook users who also use Evernote. To export your Video Notebook notes to PDF, you need to click on the export button below the video and choose the PDF file option. Now, let's click on the export notes button. After just a couple of seconds, the export is completed and we can move the file to our desktop to later unzip it. Now we have the PDF file ready to be imported to Evernote. We can now open Evernote in our web browser. I will type Evernote and once it's already loaded, which takes a moment, I will go to the notes section. Now you can drag and drop your PDF file to this area. We can choose the location for the new note that will be created with the video notebook notes. And it's done. Just like in Notion, the title of the note was automatically detected and we can review the PDF file. Whether you're a premium Evernote subscriber or just a free user, you can interact with this PDF file. For example, you can click on the notes timestamp to play the video from the right point in the Video Notebook web app.
Additionally, if you're a premium Evernote subscriber, you can annotate the file. To do this, you need to select the PDF file and then click on this pencil icon. You can now draw on this PDF file. For example, I will draw an arrow pointing at Evernote and then let's save. As a premium member, you can also search through the PDF files that you have in Evernote. For example, I will search for a phrase like lorem. So let's type lorem. Evernote has found this phrase in this PDF file. It has even highlighted it in yellow. The next app that I will cover is Obsidian. As an Obsidian user, you probably want to have all your images, that is slides and screenshots captured using video notebook on your local machine. And we have an export option for Obsidian users that will do just that. To export your video notebook notes to Obsidian, you need to click on the export button below a video and choose the markdown file local images option. It means that the images will be downloaded to your computer. So we can click on the export notes button and wait for a couple of seconds until the export is completed. It is already completed, so we can drag and drop it to the desktop and unzip the file. Now we need to locate our Obsidian Vault. That is the place where all our Obsidian nodes are stored. In my case, the Obsidian Vault is on my desktop. It is right here. I will open it. Most Obsidian users have at least two folders in their vault. One folder can be for notes, that is for the markdown files, while the other folder is for attachments, all the images, videos and other files that you don't want to clutter your main folder, the notes folder. Let's open the folder with the notes that we have just downloaded from the video notebook web app and uh, we can now move the markdown file, the file with our notes, to the notes folder. However, this is not enough as we also need to find the images and drag and drop them to the attachments folder. The images are located in the images subfolder and we can select them all and drag and drop them to the attachments folder. We can open the Obsidian desktop app to make sure that everything's there. Yeah, it's there and we can interact with the notes. For example, we can click on the play button next to any note timestamp to play the video from the right point in the video notebook web app. The last notating app on our list, Microsoft OneNote, just like Evernote, is well known for its solid support of PDF files. This is the reason why we also recommend a PDF export to all video notebook users who also use Microsoft OneNote. To export your video notebook notes to PDF, you need to click on the export button below the video and choose the PDF file option. Now let's click on the export notes button. After just a couple of seconds, the export is completed and we can move the file to our desktop to later unzip it. We can now open the Microsoft OneNote desktop app. As you can see, I have a dedicated section created for notes exported from video notebook. I will add a new page in this section. You need to now click insert and print out. Then choose the right PDF file. One of the cool features of Microsoft OneNote is that it makes your PDFs searchable. We can even search for a phrase that is visible in one of the screenshots that we took using Video Notebook. Let it be Apple Notes. I will search for Apple Notes and Microsoft OneNote returns two results that are on this very note. It has even highlighted Apple Notes in yellow. 
All right, thanks everyone for watching this tutorial. Please let us know in the comment section below what apps we should include in our next export tutorial. Have a great day.